Hello, and welcome back to part 3 of how to play blues harmonica playing notes. In this episode, I'll be using uh, this way to, to explain which holes to, to blow and draw for these tunes. At the start, the red line will be more like an oval uh, to represent your mouth being more oval shaped. But uh, as time goes on, we want to try and round that up to, to make it as, as small a circle as possible. When you first start out, it might be difficult to play just one note, okay? Uh, oftentimes, people just play three holes or two holes. Uh, for example, like a chord, all right? So this is an example of a, of a song played with uh, a few different notes uh, on a C harmonica, uh, When the Saints. Okay, so that's it. That's playing the chords of Owen the Saints, two or three holes. Um, it sounds quite quite nice, quite harmonicary. But you want to you want to play one note. There are two ways of doing it. A, you can either uh, cover a couple of holes with your tongue. Your mouth remains mouth shaped, <laughs> like an oval, and your tongue comes in and covers two holes on the left hand side. So that's the thing about these harmonicas, you don't really share uh, diatonic or pocket harmonicas because you get a lot of saliva in them, it's, it's kind of unhygienic to share uh, to share them. You get one, keep it for yourself. If somebody else wants to play it, tell them to get their own, in a nice way. <laughs> or buy them one as a present. This is an example of me uh, covering a couple of holes with my tongue. It doesn't sound that clean to me. And that was the way I used to prefer doing it. But then somebody said, oh no, you can totally just squeeze your mouth up to a tiny little space and just play one hole at a time. This is me doing that. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, even before you listen to these blues songs, I might suggest practicing playing a few holes or one hole at a time. Another nice tune I learned when I was just practicing was uh, Silent Night. So, yeah, you can just imagine someone uh, in the trenches Christmas Eve playing that. That'd be quite pleasant. US President Abraham Lincoln carried a harmonica in his pocket and harmonicas provided solace to soldiers on both the Union and Confederate sides of the American Civil War. <laughs> a bit there to get a kind of a tremolo sound. That's one way of getting a nice uh, variation in the sound. A lot of harmonica players hold the harmonica in one hand, like that. Something like that, see? And then use the right hand to cup it, like this. And then you can achieve the Tremelo effect like this. If you're playing with a microphone uh, on a stage, you might want to hold your microphone in here like this. In that case, you won't be able to use your hand as a tremelo. You can sacrifice that for the cleanness of, of the microphone. Another way of playing it, if you want to get it nice and loud and clean, is this way. Maybe for more volume. Another kind of uh, effect you can have with harmonica is moving your head uh, or your harmonica quickly side to side like this. There are two ways to, 
to start a note playing harmonica. You can either make a 2-2-2 two, two, two sound or you can start and stop at the back of your throat here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I prefer this one. But sometimes you have to use the 2-2-2 two, two, two when you want to play fast beats like tootle tootle too. Some of the, the classic harmonica players introduced sort of growling and, and whoops and kind of vocal th throat noises into their harmonica playing, um, partially because it added character and also because it helps with the breathing, I suppose, like um, Junior Wells, he used to do that quite a lot. So that's the end of episode three. We look forward to seeing you for episode four, Bending Notes. <laughs>